Apeni wiki na karibu tena mtazamaji wangu mahali popote ulipo. Niombi na matumaini yangu kwamba hubweri wa afya na Mwenyezi Mungu anaendelea kukulinda. Karibu nikufahamishe mambo ya ajabu ambayo yanaendelea kutokea katika taifa letu tukutufu la Kenya katika utawala wake William Samoi Arap Ruto. Mtazamaji nakumbuka ni juzi nikiwaambia kwamba wa Kenya itabidi tujipange kwa sababu Atujui William Samoe Ruto next atakuwa anapandisha uh, tax kwa nini? Atujui William Ruto next atakuwa anapandisha fee ya nini? Juzi tu nilikwambia kwamba tunjipange kwa sababu ni lazima kila wiki usikie William Ruto amepandisha kitu, tax ama fee. Sasa mtazamaji siku hii ya leo CS Alice Waome ameamua kuwashangaza wa Kenya tena. Kama vile unaona hapo kwa screen Lands CS Alice Waome proposes increasing land transaction fee an official search of land will cost 2000 up from 5500 in corrupt in co cooperation of trust will cost 50000 up from 5000 and confirmation of border dispute will now cost 5000 hmm naona mtazamaji Nilikwambia tu uwe tayari sitani kama umeshuka sana kwa sababu nilikuwa nimekuonya kwamba wewe kuwa tayari tu uh, kila wiki lazima tuongezewe tax wewe kuwa tayari tu uh, mahali popote ulipo mtazamaji wangu wewe just be ready for anything kwa sababu kutoka sasa kuendelea mbele hautasikia tu hata utaenda usikie chumvi imeongezewa tax hii imeongezewa tax hii imeongezewa tax yani ni tax 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 fee tax fee tax fee nilikwambia hmm. uwe tayari kabisa <laughs> William Ruto sioni kama kwa na huruma hata kidogo na mtu yeyote na sioni kama kuna mtu anasikiliza yani asikilizi chochote unakumbuka juzi tu wabunge wa Kenya kwanza wakimwambia William Samoe Ruto uh, William Ruto kupunguza bei ya vitu kwa sababu ground watu wameanza kutuchukia watu wameanza kutu reject kabisa kawaambia nyinyi mngojeni kwanza tupandishe kila kitu eh wakati wa kuwa popular bado hujafika. Si ndio aliwaambia William Samoe Ruto, aliwaambia kwamba nyinyi acheni kuwa na wasiwasi na watu kutowakubali. Wakati wa kuwa popular bado hujafika. Kwa hivyo ni wakati wa kuendelea kuwafinya wa Kenya. Si ndio aliwaambia. Na tisi tumeona for the first um, tuseme 2 to 3 months. Umeona tu kila wiki, yani kila wiki lazima kitu kiongezewe tax. Kila wiki kitu kinaongezewa tax. Na hatujui sasa next ni nini kitakuja kuongezewa tax. Hmm? <laughs> Karibu mtazamaji tuangalie kwa undani vile Alice Waome amesema lakini mtazamaji na kuomba tu kama ni mara yako ya kwanza kututazama uchukue sekondi yako moja ama mbili uh, uweze kujiunga na familia ya Jitan Daily Politics kwa kuweza kusubscribe na kutano notification ili tukiachia video wa kwanza kuipokea lakini pia kama wewe ni returning subscriber ama kama tayari umesha subscribe na kuomba mtazamaji uchukue sekondi yako moja uweze ku like hii video na ushare hii video na utuachie maoni yako hapo chini katika sehemu ya comment section ukituachia maoni yako hapo chini unaweza ukatuambia unatazama kutoka kaunti gani kama uko hapa Kenya na kama uko nje ya Kenya unaweza ukatuambia unatazama kutoka nchi gani mtazamaji William Samoe Ruto ameamua kuendelea kuwafinya wa Kenya kabisa hmm? Inaonekana William Samoe Ruto ni moja kati ya uh, marais ambao hawana huruma hata kidogo hata mkilia kiasi gani hata mkilalamika vipi yeye inaonekana kwamba hajali hata anaona kama hiyo kulia kwenu hakuwezi ku, kumfanya akose kufanya vitu ambazo anataka kufanya hmm. William Samoe Ruto anaonekana hajali kabisa yani yeye hajali tu hata mmuseme nini mseme nini yeye yako sawa hajali sababu kama ni kulia wa Kenya wamelia cha kutosha. Wa Kenya wamemlilia hata wa Kenya kutoka huko Rift Valley nyumbani kwao kabisa wamemlilia Rais William Samoe Ruto tafadhali acha kuongeza tax, Rais William Samoe Ruto tafadhali acha kuongeza fee. Wa Kenya tunaumia bei ya vitu inapanda bado na tuongezea fee. Hmm. <laughs> Ata nakumbuka kaka video ile Ruto alifanya mwezi kabla ya mwezi wa sita. Na mimi nataka niwaambie hivi serikali ya Kenya hakuna hata tax moja tumeongeza na hakuna hata tax itaongeza mtaona katika budget yetu ya mwezi wa zita tutakuwa tunapunguza taxes <laughs> so sijui William Mruto huwa anaongea na opposite ama sijui sijui anaongea na reverse ama akiongea kitu anama, akisema kwamba sitafanya hivi ndio anamaanisha kwamba atafanya ama sijawahi kumuelewa kiukweli kufikia sasa 
sijawahi kumwelewa William Ruto kwa sababu kitu ambacho wamekizungumza anasema kwamba sitafanya hiyo ndiyo atafanya tena zaidi. Hmm. Kama vile unaona hapo kwa screen CS Waome increases land transaction fees. Yeah. The Minister of Land has proposed new ch changes that would increase land transaction fee which could eat Kenyans who are already revenged by rising cost of living and increased taxes. Land Cabinet Secretary Alice Waome has proposed amendments to the law increasing some land charges that have not been revised for decents. An official search of land has been revised to 2000 while registration of documents will be charged 1500 as well as a corporation of certificate fee. The minister has also hiked fees for incorporation of trust from the previous 5000 to 50000. <laughs> Naona hiyo siju ime imewekwa times ngapi? Mm. Kutoka 1500 mpaka 1500. Hii ni incorporation of trust. Kutoka 1500 mpaka 1500. Mm. Ndio serikali ya hasla hiyo mtazamaji wangu. Ina ina proposal the application for certificate copies of the proceedings that arise from the uh, determination of the land register has been revised to 3000 for the first 10 pages applicants will be charged 100 for any additional pages resubmission for registration for any document will cost 1500 while correction of name that has not been done by the a register will cost 2500 revocation of power of the antonry will cost 5000 confirmation of border disputes will now cost 5000 whereas fixing borders will be charged at 5000 replacement of a caution will cost 3000 any land registering that is spent a day outside the office will cost kenyans 5,000 same as transport while offering and advice. According to the ministry, the revisions have been done since there haven't been major updates for over 30 years. The proposal comes on the back of a recent rush by the government to increase taxes and charges for major services. Recently, the Ministry of Interior gazetted a list of revised charges on the various government services including acquiring citizenship, replacement of ID, and acquiring passports among other issues. Sasa, so, um, mrozamaji, uh, ndiyo hiyo ndiyo hile nikuwa na mkuambia kwa mba, kila wiki mujipange kwa sababu mtakuwa mna ongezewa tax. So, umeona mrozamaji, Alice Wome anasama kwa mba, nilazima wa revise kwa sababu kwa saidi ya miaka 30 uh, ijawai kuangaliliwa. So, nimi najuliza, Ni lazima kama ni kurefice, ni lazima yongezewe bei badala ya kupunguzo. Anasema hmm. kwamba kwa miezi, kwa, mba, kwa saidi ya miaka 30, haijawai kuangaliwa hiyo fee ambayo ni ya mambo ya land. Sasa unaweza ukajuliza swali. Kwa hifo, ikija kuangaliwa, ni lazima bei yongezewe. Ayezi pungua hata siku moja. Lazima tusikie ruto wa mepunguza bei ya uh, mambo ya land. Uh, register kufanya nini inaenda chini. Yani kila siku tu ni lazima ipande tu juu. <laughs> Jamani, serikali ya hasla. Hasla ambaye ana kazi. Mnazidi kumuongezea mzigo. Hasla ambaye yalikuwa na jisema kwamba at least sasa tumepata mtu ambaye yuko kama sisi. At least sasa tumepata mtu ambaye anaelewa shida. At least sasa tumepata mtu ambaye anaelewa kwamba kuna wakati wa unakuwa hauna hata shilingi kumi kwa mfuko. Sasa unashangaa huyo huyo hasla ambaye alikuwa mnasema um, kwamba mmebahatika kumpata mtu ambaye anajua shida zenu anajua kwamba kuna wakati hata unaweza kaa wiki moja kama ulejaingiza elfu moja. Sasa huyo 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 ndio anaongezea tax kila kitu kuhakikisha kwamba maisha yako wewe hasla yanazidi kuwa magumu tena zaidi. 
Huyo huyo Asla ambaye ulikuwa unasema kwamba pengine anaweza akatusaidia kwa sababu si anaelewa Aslas, anaelewa kutembea mguu, anaelewa kuuza kuku. So huyo huyo ndio anaongeza tax kila kitu hata Nadhani kabla ya mwaka wa 2027 kila kitu kitakuwa kinaongezewa tax hapa nchini Kenya. Hata kuna mtu niliona katika mtandao wa X akisema kwamba wacha William Ruto ajue kwamba feri pale Mombasa feri watu wanafuka bure. <laughs> lazima atawaongezea hmm. eh? lazima ataweka hata kama ni 50 ama kumi, ama ishirini. Wacha tu ajue kwamba mnafuka bure mnafuka free hapa Kenya serikali ya Hasla mnafuka free wacha mjulikane watu wa Mombasa wacha mjulikane kama mnafuka ferry free hmm. Ruto atafika hapo mbio na ayeke tax ama ayeke bei kumi ama ishirini. kama una ufuki eh, na hiyo huyo ndio uh, rais ambaye ni rais wa Aslas So mtazamaji uh, kiukweli ni kwamba kama Kenya tunaelekea mahali pabaya kwa sababu vitu zote ambazo zinakuwa revised yani ni kama kila waziri anaambiwa kwamba wewe angalia kitu ni kitu gani katika uh, um, ni kitu gani katika ofisi yako ya waziri yako unaweza ukabadilisha ama unaweza ukaongeza bei unaweza ukaongeza tax so kila waziri anaambiwa kwamba wewe angalia katika upande wako ni nini ambayo unaweza ukaongezea tax Kidhuri kidiki ye alimaliza yake kazi yake. Hiyo mambo ya ID ni, ni certificates. Sasa Alice Wome na ye anaonekana kwamba amemaliza kazi yake ambayo alipewa. Sasa hao waziri wengine wote lazima wafanye kazi ambayo walipewa. Lazima waangalie katika uh, ofisi yao ni nini ambayo wanaweza ongezea wa Kenya tax kwa sababu ni ana haja ya William Ruto ni kuongeza tax kabisa. Siji ndio wanataka kurudisha ile pesa ambayo walitumia wakati wa campaign sielewi hata kidogo. Sijui ndio wanaendelea kutayarisha pesa ambayo atawalipa wa Kenya 2027 sielewi kwa sababu naye lazima atayarishe pesa kwa sababu 2027 ground itakuwa ni ndio mtu anjitokeze kwa harali yake William Samoe Ruto lazima utumie hii. Usipotumia hii hata kuwa napata mtu hata mmoja na hata akitumia hii tutakuwa tunakuwa tuna, tu watu wanakuwa pale lakini wameboeka kwa sababu mtu ambaye amenunuliwa bila shaka hawezi kuwa na ile nguvu kama vile mtu ambaye anakupenda tu kutoka kwa moyo niambie ni mtu gani atakuwa anampenda William Samoe Ruto hapo mbele wefo ni lazima watafute pesa ya kutumia <laughs> wakati wa campaign kuweza kumobilize watu kuwalipa watu ndio wajitokeze kwa mkutano lakini hiyo ni maoni yangu tu sijui kama hiyo ndio uh, nia ambayo Ruto wako nayo ya kuongeza tax kila kitu. Hmm. Lakini ningependa sana unisiambie tu hapo chini katika sehemu ya comment section wewe una maoni gani kutokana na hii tax ambayo inaongezwa usiku na mchana na um, William Samoe Ruto ambaye alikuwa anatuambia kwamba hawa watu kina huru Kenyatta sasa wanaongeza tax usiku na mchana kwa sababu hawajui shida ni nini. Sasa yeye mwenye anajua shida ni nini anaongeza tax usiku na mchana. In fact ni kama anaongeza kila wakati. Wakati tu anajisikia tax inaongezewa mahali fulani. Hmm. Ibuni achie maoni yako kushiriki katika sehemu ya comment section mtazamaji lakini pia usahau kujiunga na familia ya Jetan Daily Politics kwa habari zaidi. Kwa sasa bye bye.